Okay, good afternoon. My name is Mr. Zbarth and I am your local digital fellow. Here we are and I am going to share with you a app that I've been using lately and it's a bit of a Canva alternative if you've ever heard of Canva before and that is called Adobe Express. This video also serves to kind of warn you about the idea that you have access to free Adobe products with your NMUSD account. Adobe Express costs $10 a month if you use the premium version. This is free. You get a premium version of this. And also, if you'd like to use the Creative Cloud apps computer at home, you can use this uh, same login as well. So I'm going to show you how to log in today. I'm going to show you how to make a banner for your Schoology classroom. Uh, it was Halloween the other day and I asked my students what the scariest thing is about school. And they said the scariest thing was when their teacher has a generic thumbnail for their Schoology classroom. It makes it hard for them to find their class. And I have observed this uh, many times when a student of mine is trying to find one of their classes or my class on Schoology. Um, so I have kind of taken up the practice of creating these custom banners. And I find that Adobe Express works great. So let's sign in first because part of the challenge in using this is actually getting to the right part of the sign in. I'm going to go to create your own design. So this is great for flyers, banners, um, Google slides. There's a ton of clip art and a ton of fonts you can use. And uh, I need to sign in. So the first step is in the upper right when you're at adobe.com slash express, we'll go to sign in. And this is important. Do not get tempted with this teacher or student um, option over here on the right. This will not result in you having access to the premium version. Um, like Creative Cloud, if you want to use all the paid stuff, you're going to continue with Google. And I just changed my password, so I might have to type in. Let me just triple check. And it's another important thing too, I'll update my password, is that we have to use not our Adobe ID, which is your, which is a personal account, but enterprise ID. So if you're using this to log in to either Express or Creative Cloud, you have to ensure you're logging in via Google and then using enterprise ID. And you can triple check, am I actually using the premium version? You should have a little blue icon here. If you click on it, it'll say your name and that you have Adobe Express Premium. So now that we've gotten that part of the way, I really feel like that is the hardest part. I'm gonna point out some of the things that you can do besides just make a poster. Um, and these are high resolution graphics. So um, I assume you can print these out and send them to Staples and whatnot. Um, but what's also nice is that I often make PDF uh, documents. I have been converting PDFs for Mama Mary uh, she'll send me like a Word doc and I'll uh, make a PDF out of it. This lets you do that right on the first page of Adobe Express. Um, also, if you wanted to remove a background of an image, uh, that tool is there, really easy to use. And, um, yeah, okay. So first thing I'm going to do is search for banner. Search all templates. I'll type in banner. You can see I've previously typed in classroom or pixel art. <laughs> And all these little crowns are showing you the premium ones. So let's see if I can find. Uh, this looks great. This is far superior to anything that was loaded into Schoology. So I'm going to start from this template. Because the students are going to be looking at this little tiny graphic in a very small window in their web browser, it might be nice to make sure that your last name or the subject of your classroom is the biggest thing. So um, we do media arts in my class. So one, one thing I noticed is you're not able to edit directly on the canvas. You have to come over here to the right to edit the text. And I'm just gonna type in a big old Zbarth. Um, And I apologize if I've said too many ums in this video. I'm trying to work on that. Uh, type in big caps, media, arts. And I have intro, I have intermediate, so we can make um, you know different versions for that. And then I find it nice, especially the first day of school, is to give your kids an idea of what room you're in. Oops. Room 
two, three, four. Awesome. Uh, I need to move this down. Click and drag. You do a little rotation thing. If you just click and drag on the rotation handle, it will let you rotate it. And so on and so forth. Um, this is not representational of um, my hairline. So I am, if I wanted to spend more time, I could find maybe a bald character. Um, that might work. But for most of you, that's not a problem. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Uh, the next step is to download this. So I'm just going to click download. Now, if your graphic is mostly graphic elements, like you see here, there are no, uh, there's no photography in this. I'm going to recommend that you download it as a PNG file. If you have a photograph, a nice uh, picture of your mug, you would make it a JPEG. So PNGs are better for graphics, solid colors and whatnot. JPEGs are better for things like high res photographs. So I'm going to download a PNG file, start my download. This is going to end up in my downloads folder. Uh, now that I have this, I'm going to roll up here to Schoology account. I'll go to my sandbox and change this. Click on sandbox. Up here in the upper left, we have our graphic. We're going to click edit picture. Simply attach a file. Oh, sorry, that's loud. And I look at my downloads. And it is this thing that says my project. If I would have named it something, it would have been that name. But that works. It likes it. It sees my name. And now students, when they go to their courses, will have a nice, beautiful picture that has my name. It's all centered. And I hope you enjoyed this November edition, first of November edition of your CDM Tech Fellow Digital Fellow Workshop. Thank you.